Hey guys, and how about we play The Walking Dead? So I'm out here with Doug, because last time we just saved Glenn, and this other lady, kind of, we saved her, and then she decided she didn't want to be saved exactly. Um, but now we're going to try to get the keys from, you know, Lee's brother over there. Oh, it actually says Lee's brother. So I so picture... That guy over there has the keys. How do you know? I can't be sure. Oh, there's a close. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Good. A few maybe seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Um, maybe. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Okay, I suppose we're just gonna look at everything possible. A few seconds of searching and we'll know if he has the keys. Okay, you do have. I can use the remote there, really? Okay, hold on though. Um, is there anything? There's a brick. I can't reach that brick. Oh, never mind. Apparently, can't reach that brick. Thought I could. Uh, anything in the harbor store? Try to get in there. No, same weapons. thing as last time when we looked at that. It was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. Right. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Okay. Well, maybe they'll all go toward the TV if it works. I didn't even think a TV could reach that far. Or like a remote, rather. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What What's could you that? do? Throw it? <laughs> it's universal. Oh. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Just hope the power is still on. You can just well, do cool. that. <laughs> I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Hmm. Let's try. Did it work? Heck yeah, it did. We get well static. Done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already? Right, they're like walking toward. Yeah, maybe. TV. You know they're all remembering their past them lives them now. Noise. Some of them are already going onto the roof to try to fix, you know, the problem. Okay, Doug, can you, by chance, reach the brick? It really doesn't seem like it's that far can out at all. Brick. Like, it really doesn't. Uh... <laughs> I can use that. I want to see what happens. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I do love the fact that it lets you try, though. Um, can we just Doug, open it? You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. Right. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, so they didn't have it locked the before they rescued us in the street? Code violations. Okay, well, I guess I'll break it then. Glenn said to break it. He did, didn't he? Shh. Awesome. Now to distract Like, all the things that I think would make a lot of noise. Apparently, don't make all that much noise. I can't reach that brick. Why can't you? Okay, push the gate open a little bit. Then reach the brick. Lee, your teacher, be smarter. Now, can you reach the brick, Lee? Thank you. Okay. Uh, we also want to throw it. We want to throw it over there, right? Then throw! I hope this is enough of a distraction, because I have no other ideas. There we go. Sound of shattering glass. The TV, like the static is more clear now. TV. Look, they're all hugging it and stuff. Okay, Doug, you stay here and man the gate. I will go out. Like the running, the symbol there. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? Yeah, for it being a running symbol, he's not doing much in terms of running. Oh, but the zombie's still alive, huh? I forgot about that. Aww. Poor zombie brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to Mom and Dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Besides, you don't want to yell across the street like that. Sorry, man. I'm 
thought I wouldn't hear. But knowing you to take care of him tomorrow, that helped. That's good. Time to kill the zombie. Just one smooth motion, Lee. One smooth motion's all it needs. That wasn't very smooth. But is he dead? Oh, oh no, he's not. Okay, smooth motion, Lee. You did like the same thing. One smooth motion, Lee. Why are you so bad at smooth motions, Lee? Maybe we should have done that from the beginning. Okay. Hey, but achievement unlocked. That's sad. Well, these achievements are sad so far. There we go. Okay, but we still have our axe. You know, we didn't like lose it in a set. Oh, that's bad. Why do you say that? They hadn't even turned around yet. Well, Renly, now that there's no lock on the gate, we're gonna have to leave this place before too long. All you need to do is tie like a really good knot around the two bars, you know? Just like take your jacket off or your overshirt Man, or whatever. That was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Well. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Oh, thanks, Let's Lily. Who are amazing, guys? Did you hear that? Yeah. Positivity from the Lility. Okay, well, we're here. Uh, I can't talk to you. Okay. Um, just go in and here, I guess. And use. All right, in we go, Lily. Oh no! Shit. We gotta hurry. That's bad. I guess we weren't supposed to be back here, even though we used the key. I could expect that to happen if we used the axe, but not so much if we used the key, you know? But now everyone realizes, hey, they can get free pills, and they're all excited. Stupid druggies and hurt people. Is that screwdriver in your shoulder? <laughs> Something like that. They missed the head. Oh, was it just her, actually, that's gonna come? Oh, no, there are others. Okay. That'd be kind of funny, have a cutscene dedicated to just, like, one zombie, like, Oh, there's a noise, you know? Doc, come on, maybe time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round right Maybe we should've warned them, but I guess we didn't know the alarm was gonna go off. Out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. Okay. got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. Right. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. I guess that's I fair. Door's not locked anymore. Shit. You three, get on it. I'll get back as fast as I can. Okay. Stay away from the windows. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I am helping with the door, apparently. Lee, we don't make it through this. You should know that... You're a great guy. Oh, thanks, Doug. We will make it through this. But Doug, affirmative. We don't make it through this. You should know. Ow. Okay. Push, push it. I should know what? Huh? That I should know. Oh, oh bad God. sign. Are bad sign. Sure? Oh, shit. Oh, uh, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Close the door! By the way, where Doug is positioned right now, that's not really helping. He should be more like doing the makeout thing with Lee. Not that he'd be kissing him, but you know what I mean when I say that. Go, 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 go! Eat! But like, they should both be pushing toward the center. Because it doesn't really help otherwise. Let's take it through all the cane, that's sad. All the snaps, you know? Oh, bad, bad. Okay, Carly has a gun. Is she out of ammo? Is she out of ammo? 
I don't know if she's out of ammo, but she has the biggest chance at a weapon. I gotta save Doug. Doug is completely helpless there. Oh, man. Shoot it! Shit. Oh, she is out of ammo. No, you don't. Freaking stump your brains out. Dang it, I liked Carly. Why can't I save them both? I just gave him his pills. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, Kenny. Take his hand. Take Especially his a good friend. Oh, thanks, Kenny. Larry, what the heck, man? Stupid Larry. Okay, well. I'm a little sad that Carly died. I liked Carly. I didn't know she was out of M. I, I had assumed because she was reaching for her bag, but Doug on the other end was completely defenseless. She was at least still inside the store, you know. I don't know. It's all messed up. At least everyone else is still alive. And, you know, we know that Carly liked Doug, and so... What does that sound? Well, it's clearly some man screaming. I'm just wondering who... who it was. How you doing, Glenn? Hey, Glenn. Disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Augusta, stage I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. He's respectable. I like Glenn, but... Can I not talk to anyone? You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. See, Lee and I both respected that. It's good. Yeah, that hit Glenn pretty hard when the woman did that. Just saying goodbyes all sad. Alright, well, best of luck. Hope you don't die. He's probably we're never gonna see him again, are we? That's sad. Alright, well. How about you guys? Hey, How's kid. the Kenny family? Close call back there. You know, Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Oh, thanks, thanks, Kenny. Kenny. You got it. That's, that's really nice. That really is nice of him to say. <laughs> like, And now I don't at all regret saying that, because I think that... No, that wasn't what I regretted, when Katja, like, freaked out at me for a minute. Uh, where am I going? I apparently couldn't go left. I need to talk to Doug. Yeah, he doesn't look so good. How you doing, Doug? Doug? We couldn't save her, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I... I know it's stupid. We just met. It's dumb. But, uh, I mean, it's... It's 
probably just that survivor thing. I really liked her. I hope this doesn't backfire. Thankfully. Anyway, okay. I'd rather be alone, I think. Yeah. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it, buddy? How did you choose? I mean, we both needed you. You picked me. I choose. I was going to help you both. That makes sense, I guess. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. Because you were the most helpful. I just wish you would have picked her. Of course. Well, chances are, if I had picked her, you'd be dead. Is that how, like, every decision this game is gonna be? It's like, either one or the other? It's gonna suck. The Dumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's all like, pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you Super know Dinosaur, what? what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. A little hyperactive kid there. I'm sorry, there's, uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Aww. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Sorry, Clementine. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Let me go deal with this. Are you gonna punch me again? Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Duck. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once. So will everyone else. I know who you are. Yeah, I don't care. And I don't give a shit I will about tell what them. happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I really don't like Larry. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Yes, please be reasonable, Lily. She seems more reasonable so far. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. I'm aware of that. That reporter is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. This is true. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. That music doesn't sound happy, though. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually okay. agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, That's you're true. right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Yeah, this is a, like, climactic now. It's not bad music, it's like... Not so okay anymore? Ah, <gasps> to be continued. Ah, we completed episode one of five, right? Cool, let's see what happens. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Oh, thanks, man. Keep it. Hey, I owe you a lot more than a half-eaten candy bar. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's Ooh. beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. Mm. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what you on! So this is where you start... Start dealing with, uh... Because he was being a total jerkbag. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. Oh. 
that gets intense pretty quickly, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, oh, we gotta see this. Okay, so lied to Herschel, you and 63% of players were honest. Duck or Sean, 49% of players chose Duck. So it's pretty much 50-50. Side with Kenny, 48% of players defended Kenny. Oh, uh, well, I guess, you know, because most people chose Sean, yeah, most people are probably not gonna defend him. Um, but, but, but Mercy gave Iron the gun. 55% of players refused the gun. You and 23% of players chose Doug. Huh. I mean, sure, Carly seemed more, like, capable, and she is a woman and all that, and so, not to say women are lesser at all, but just, you know, like, people act gentlemanly, you know? <laughs> Whereas I was just like, Doug seems in more immediate danger. Uh, but, there we go, 23%. Wow. All right, click to continue. Well, where is the mouse? Oh, I just click anywhere. <laughs> in regards to what Lily said in that last thing, like, yeah, I never have liked Larry because he's just loud, yelly, like, unreasonably angry, you know? He punched me in the face for no good reason. He's threatening to reveal that I killed someone, which I have already done to Kenny's, like, well, to Kenny, and he could tell his family, whatever. I told Clementine, I didn't lie to Carly about it at the time. Like, I've been honest the entire time, really, to everyone. And I don't get what his big deal is. It's just ridiculous. Um, I don't think that we need to go through these credits because this is just the end of episode one. We could go through the credits when we actually beat the whole game, you know, season one. Um, so I'd say that we're good to call this. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did, of course, feel free to have a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I would love to have you guys. So, <laughs> tune in next time for the next video. Until then, take care. Q outro, go!